What's up, everybody? Hello, and welcome back to Terra Invicta. We are building what will be our worship that we are going to use to go and get ourselves some exotic materials. This is going to be the Scavenger uh, Titan class ship. We call it Scavenger because we have this Scavenge Bay here, which should increase our post-battle loot by 50% once we have five of these in the fleet. Trying to decide... Let's go with what we have here. 501 combat strength isn't anything to disappoint about. It could be higher. I'm not using the armors that require hybrid materials. I could. It's just a, you know, do you want to invest 16 exotics on a ship that might not even guarantee get you that back? I don't know. I do not know. It makes me wonder. So for now, we'll just set this up to use normal armor. Let's get the uh, the adamantine armor here. I also need to drop the that bridge for now and throw in our utility module here all right this is the scavenger titan class technically it's a penetrator we will save it and we're going to try to make some of those so let's construct some ships here i want to do scavenger class titan 1.6 exotic 126 of those all right i want these built at swigert space dock Let's get four of these bad boys. We need five for the full bonus. Let's do a fifth here. Uh, cancel pending. What if I just do a fleet of ten of these? How much mission control did these things take up? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oh, we need the battle cruiser to go with them. I uh, can't spend it on all of these. The Titans. There's eight of these now. That's 4,000 combat strength. Let's roll with it. If those get built in 308 days, it's going to take a lot of our exotic. We should now have enough uh, fleet power to hopefully uh, cause a lot of trouble. And what we want to do in the meantime while that gets set up is I want to go back to Mercury over here. Uh, go to the planet. Now I want to get us some antimatter farms. Give me a ring. We're going to do these in an extreme orbit. Yeah, that should be fine. Found that. And this is going to be Akiyama antimatter farm. All right, save name. And so this is going to be interesting because we want to do these super colliders here. Gonna be expensive. Each one costs 750, so basically the solar farms provide for one of those. So one and two solar farms. And now let's do some super colliders. Oh, I don't have the funds to do it. It's so expensive. <laughs> Oh, uh, we'll have one set up for now. Let's just think about this. It's also going to need some farms. Each of these will take... So two of these per one farm. So we do agricultural complexes, right? One here, one here, one here, and one here. That will do all that. We don't have any defenses on the station, though, which is a concern. 750. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times 750. Let's do some math. 7 times 750. Well, about 200 free. Alternatively, I could cut off the agricultures in these corners, take the hit, and put on some defenses. Right, because I have the, the battle stations. Two of these would probably be fine for our defenses. Which is that... 9,000 combat strength. Let's call that complete for now. We'll come in... Our, our new mission is going to be to give the Super Colliders and Atom Smashers available to this place whenever we can. Could build some of these. It's just going to take us a lot of money, right? No, we need the fissiles. Damn. Actually, all of these... If I build these in a lot of large quantities, they'll all just run out of fissiles. Okay, that's something I didn't consider. Let's sign that. 
right, let's for now let's amass some fissiles. Uh, go ahead and automate the rest of our counselors here. Actually, let's let's take two of these guys, and we need them to uh, start working on these aliens that we have not paid attention to. Same with Zyda. She can probably take on all of them. Lock those guys in. We're going to have some kind of production of antimatter. Is it enough to make us weapons? I don't know. Is it enough to use for boost? I don't know. We're going to start on it. Does mean I'm going to need to very heavily now invest into our prospecting of this stuff. Looks like Mars has some good outputs of this. We're going to take over Mars. I think that's our next step here. Yeah, let's wait till this, this launch fleet is coming into Earth orbit, and I think we're going to start uh, playing aggressive in the expansion here. So we now have the hab done over here. This doesn't really do much for us now that I'm building it, but it's going to be important eventually with the interstellar launch facility. We just got to get the funds to get up there. Yeah, 101,000 to build in space. Jesus. Yeah, we'll work on it. All right, let's. Uh, I'll jump back once we get this uh, Victor Two fleet arriving in June. We're gonna attack that all out with the Earth, Earth Defense Fleet. I also need to probably break off some of the ships in this fleet. So let's resupply. Oh god, I gotta resupply these guys too. I want to break off the uh, destroyers we have here. Near a cell fusion reactor. Okay. Break off the destroyers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Split the fleet. This is going to be Echo 49. It's instead going to be renamed. This is our um, outpost uh, takeover squad. I don't know. What, what's, what's, what's the outpost raiders? There you go. Cool. And here's what we want them to do. We need a spaceport wherever we're going to send these guys. But first, I want to... Let's see. They have 1k combat strength. We have higher Delta V. Who's in Earth orbit they can chase down? A lot of these guys are in low Mars orbit. We're going to use them to take over outposts, I think. So what's a good fissile source here? Swack hammer's folly. How does one get my outpost guys to come here? So I wish I could select them right now. Transfer. It's in the asteroid belt. 2064 Thompson. Oh God. Mars crossover asteroid, so there. Transfer there for Delta V. 139 days. We're gonna wipe this station station out. We will claim it for ourselves. Let's get us some fissiles. That's gonna be our our uh, modus operandi for the rest of this this game here. Okay. So now it's just going to be doing jump cuts between us trying to go and get ourselves some exotics. We'll see how that goes. And hopefully once we build up a, a nice si sizable Titan fleet, we can uh, cause some havoc here. I wonder if we're going to take out any of the halves the aliens have. Feels like a no when you're repping 20,000 uh, strength in all your bases. But we can try. I mean, we got to do something to get exotics, and there's no other way. We can't just, like, buy them. Wish we could buy them, but we can't. So we gotta figure out some way. I wish I could, like... Damn. Unless I want to go... I know there's, like, the, the market here. I would love to buy these damn things. Climate reactor, whatever. Okay. Time to bring you guys back once we can do something with uh, the alien fleets. I literally just unpaused and <laughs> Fleet Victor 2 is here. We're going to sort you with the Earth Defense Fleet. They're cap they can probably outrun us if they really tried to. Fleet likely able to escape pursuit. That's fine. Oh, 
Oh. Delta V. Sure. Don't know how this works. Uh, talk louder. At least been remediated. Okay. Should have combat coming. Twenty fourth November. Really? It takes that long? Oh, gotta gotta assign my guys. Got. Uh, work on Yakutsk. Russia is full of aliens, apparently. It's still at war, by the way. This war has never ended. They're now taking the final objective of Russia. But it's been so long. No one's fixed this. God. Okay. I'll bring you guys back once we have some fleet combat. Gotta find some way to farm exotics. And I think we're gonna need to start using some uh, attack fleets to hunt down the aliens wherever we can find them. Yeah. It's just rough out here, but we gotta find those things. It looks like the aliens have arrived in Guatemala. Our interception failed, apparently. Um, they're doing a land army. It's 18 ships, 3.5k strength. They've lost the troop transports. Earth Defense Fleet's not going to arrive there until November. Which is shit. Big, big shit. <laughs> 30 days to stop that. Who are your allies? Guatemala. Oh, please tell me I can ally with Guatemala. No dice. Looks like we might be nuking Guatemala here. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate they chose that place. Uh, San South. Wait, how many of these are there? <laughs> There's one in every single place. They all have one. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well. Who are your rivals? Uh, you have America. None of my nations are your rivals. Yikes. And you aboard your fucking flight change? Okay. Victor 92? Oh, God. Stop it. Find Victor. Where is he? Oh, where is it? Victor 92. Resupply, please. Took out Shuttleworth. A fucking resort. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we, this fucking Earth Defense Fleet. Let me down here. Sultan Al Sud Station. Here comes a lot. Okay, here goes a lot of my Earth stations. That's unfortunate. This is a uh, this is my materials research station. 0482. Fusion pile. Do I need this anymore? Probably. Um, let's go ahead and save this station. Uh, accept fight. Auto resolve it. I had this fleet staying here just just for this, and are you resupplying? What's going on? Continue. We destroyed Sultan Al Sud. Intersect with Victor 92. Launch date. Uh, time to arrival 17 hours, 6 hours. Fuck it. Try it. What's going on with the convoy? 
these guys. Oh, they're waiting for the transfer window. I see. That makes sense for them. All right, engage. In the phase, we never avoid combat. We may now bid some of our available to be to chase them. If we bid higher than they do, they will engage them. If they bid more, they escape. They have so much Delta V. Yeah, let's circle them. Uh, just the one? Just the Mintaka? Oh my god, they still fucking run away. It's not possible to catch me. And they took out two, two fucking platforms on the way out, okay? Thanks, I guess. Let's get our fucking orbital set up again in, um, in Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit, manage it. Uh, apply template. Let's do Sultan Al Sud. Thank you. There's an argument to be made that we should. I don't even know how we fix this problem here. So they run away. Go back to Swigert. Where is that Victor fleet? Oh, they're type, type. Oh my god. They're gonna take out all the stations, aren't they? Target destroyed. That's fine. Fuck it. We don't need the stations in, in Earth orbit anymore. We have enough investment in all of our stuff. Um. Yeah, go ahead and resupply. They're just freeing up stuff for me to go do at Mars. We still have, what place do we do Do we have that can actually defend themselves in Earth orbit? We have the, um, defensive platform for Schmidt. Same with Froshide. These stations are dead. Just give passive bonuses, it's not terrible. I think it's fine if we lose them. We only care about the space dock. And we're not losing the fucking space stock. It's not possible. We could upgrade our happy fission reactors to make it so. I think we do. Well. No. Let's hold off. We just don't have the fission. We'll keep the Earth Defense Fleet there, and we'll just hold it down. Target secured. They can destroy everything in fucking orbit of space. Yeah, there they go. Borman Station. These bastards. How are we supposed to compete with their Delta V? Like, realistically, right? Let's say we get a ship. Let's say it's, it's an outer system colony ship. The best Delta V we can get is 146 KPS with the Titan. We do gunship. It gets up to 300. What's, the, what's this helicon drive we're using? What's the difference between that and the, um... What oh, we're running on the Titan. Yeah, our base Dreadnought is a lot stronger than it was in the past. We could upgrade and stuff. Damn, this is rough. Not to mention they're about to land here and absolutely fuck us up. Looks like this is this is gone. Auto resolve this. There goes the station. Um, forty-seven percent success. Damn, that sucks. Is that Tiangong? Wait, were they going for Tiangong Station? Oh, that's Tereskova. Oh, why am I doing this? They're just gonna absolutely blow this up. Auto resolve. This is unfortunate. I don't know how I can catch these guys. Other than start building stations that actually have enough power power to remain in Earth orbit. Which I could do. They'll take down Terracova. 
don't think I care too much about Terracova, though. What are these giving me? Like, let's think about it. What are, what are these, these stations they're taking giving me? Giving me boosts to our research, which is actually pretty nice. We should try to catch them, but we just can't with the Delta V we have available in our fleet. Okay. Here's what we do. We're going to do a redesign of what we've been doing in Earth orbit. It's about to have ring in... Well, I'll wait till they kill everything, and we'll come back and do it. I'll be fine. We have to stock up on the on this fleet anyway, because look at our, our propellant's fucking terrible. We have nothing in the, in the tanks. It's just so tough, man, with these fissiles. There goes Kanai Station. Can I decommission these halves and save some resources before they get there? Uh, accept auto resolve. Alright, I'm going to get through. They're going to wipe out most of our infrastructure on Earth. That's fine, though. Oh, the control point loss is actually pretty shitty, though. But we are picking up Global Ambition, which will help out. Okay. It'll hurt our Earth economy a little bit. But I think in the long term, it's fine. We don't really need an Earth economy right now. Right now, we need space economy. Which means those other systems that we've invested in. And we're doing fine there. In fact, this just frees up mission control. Okay. This is fine. Now, I could break off some smaller fleets. I need to fight these guys, damn it. Down to 3k strength. But they have 5,000 KPS of Delta V just in stock in their ships. How do we even reach that high? Let's just see, how do, how do we even reach that high Delta V? Like, let's let's think about it. With available stuff that we have to research. Let's look at the tech tree. Well, we've got to get mission to Saturn at some point, and the outer planets. It's got to be in some of these fusion things we're unlocking. There's a helium-3 mine. I don't know. All right, we're gonna let them wipe that stuff. We don't have enough fucking fissiles to do anything right now. Definitely need to get that production up. So while this is happening, and they're killing off our stations, let's take a look at what we can do in with Mars in these places, right? We've had these might be upgraded to higher level mining complexes. It's just a matter of what we want to do to get us there. We don't even have enough funds to do this, right? What's the one that ha makes the most in terms of fissiles in these Mars bases? Let's go to this. Let's look at our prospecting. Or our HABs, I should say. Look over here. Sort by fissiles. I want to look at our faction. Ganymede. Okay, manage this base. This is why we're going to design our our new setup. 6k stunt combat strength is enough. So... Each of those gives 1k. We're going to need to have in heavy fission reactors. First, let's put one over here. I need a fucking better, better agricultural complex. Probably one of these. Colony mining complex. It's actually gonna really cut into our production here. Eighth of December. I 
If I put the fission reactor stuff all over here, probably only need to keep one of the layer defense arrays online for now. Let's put the two agricultural campuses here. Battle station here, battle station here, and battle station here. We're gonna gain seven power just by doing that. What else would we want in this region? It's gonna cost us funds. Could make that back by putting a manufacturing complex over here. This would need to be a heavy fission reactor. Heavy fission reactor. Make sure we don't desupply everything here. Make this a manufacturing. Technically, what all we're losing here, right, in this situation, is we'd be losing the metals and the noble metals. We make up for everything else. In fact, actually, let me change this. So this needs this needs only one of these to be alive. I want to get the. Do we have it available? The. It's the operation center is what it is. But I want the upgraded version of that. Which I don't think we have yet. That's the tier two stuff. Show me tier three. Hmm, okay. That's fine. Let's finish these techs real quick. Lock our guys in. Ready to go. Uh, assault. Russia. Going in. Look, I keep What's forgetting we have the, the stuff going on in Myanmar. Reporting in. Even when I tell you to assault the Lees, you only have an 18% chance, and it's just not worth your, your option there. We'll automate you away. Actually, first go to ground. You're you're very detected. Going into hiding. That's gonna be a big problem for us. Let's pass some time here. Now yeah, we're gonna lose some more stations. That's fine. Accept auto resolve. Okay. He's going to run out of stations to target soon. They're also losing all their combat Initiating strength. Initiating deep cover. I'll bring assistance. The good news is we can just orbital barrage wherever the aliens go. Okay, that fits our problem there. I want to get the... Where was it? Not civilian fusion reactors. Spaceworks would help. It is the command center here. Yes. So that'll finish probably People pretty fast. We got 167 a day here. Public opinion is moving in our direction. There's the alien armies. They're all pretty strong too. There's three of them. Score one for the good guys. Score one for the good guys. We're going to take out all three of these. We can't stop them. We're leaving anyway. Eventually. Shame they don't have any of the uh, alien facilities on Earth, because then we could just absolutely demolish them. Here comes the alien administration. We can't stop because we can't reach those parts of the world. Uh, the antimatter farm is now set up. I'm just going to keep building more of these. Oh yeah, let's spend the boost to do it instead. 6.1k for one of these. And 2,000 boost, sure. Right, there's a command center. 
Uh, let's, work on, let's work on some of these automated cores. It'll save us some uh, research stuff. All right, but let's go back to that Ganymede. I'm trying to decide what we're going to do for our existing uh, outposts on our, our some of these bases we have. This is Grissom. And I think what I want to do here... Probably don't need as many of these as we've built. I'd want a command center. I want two command centers, ideally. One of these manufacturing complexes would probably make everything else better. Probably don't need all the battle stations. Probably can go by with two battle or two or three battle stations. Which is what we'll do. We'll do. Yeah, here's what we do. Command center here. Command center here. We'll keep the heavy fission piles right here. And then I can change this a little bit more once we once everything gets in place, and we'll get that battle station there. But we don't want to leave this place without any defenses until everything's figured out. Probably actually have way too many heavy fission piles. Yeah, agriculture complex, command center, command center. Well, it doesn't hurt to have one manufacturing, two manufacturing, two command centers already. Let's get one battle station here. And we'll put battle station there, battle station there, and this will be a pretty strong place. That works for me. It'll break even. Yeah, do this. I just want to get these resources to be as neutral as possible, and then we'll set this up, and then we'll have all of our mining outposts break even, minus a little bit of resources, and then we can use this to scale out and, and just take over the planets. So that's the idea. Starting with the places that give us fizzles, we don't have none of those, so let's let that take some orbit there. We should make sure all of our existing platforms that we care about have defenses that can defend. So Vandenberg Station probably needs to be reworked as well. Tiangong, it has nothing, so I don't really care what happens to Tiangong, but it's there. The Space Commands have enough defenses to stop anything. That's good. The Space Dock is a little weak. Definitely a little weak. How much are we re-repping right here? We could upgrade this. Let's save. Let's upgrade the Space Dock a little bit. You are building a ship, though. And you break even. Next space dock we build, we will upgrade. But for now, let's keep it what it currently is. In fact, we probably want to move our space docks to be around a, a planet with better access to solar power. Because we are losing quite a bit from the uh, the usage. So we'll, we'll lock this in. Uh, Who doesn't have a mission? Ready for orders. Go ahead and automate these guys. Ready. Where to? Everyone will probably... Once, once the alien administration gets control over these, everyone will probably... Yeah, there they go. Lee's is now gone. So I would like to go... I need to actually get my guys back. I need to declare a war on the alien administration real fast. Offering assistance. So they have no... You have, you have 78 Offering power assistance. here? Offering counsel. Oh, you have nine Offering fucking counsel. armies. Automated outpost core. Okay, sure. Keep working on some of those. Let's just do... Um, Xeno Science Institute. I'm not thinking of panicking a little bit. Actually, we're getting close to getting all of our, our stuff set up for Freedom of the Seas. Um, speaking of, can I have these guys come and do... And first off, they need to resupply shit. This sucks. <laughs> we will just nuke them. Well, we'll leave them be. Eventually, we can just take our the our ships here and handle this stuff. Uh, China. Okay, Russia's now fallen. That's good. I want to just nuke. Seventy-eight. Damn, dude. Stand down. Antimatter plasma core reactor. Better power for ships. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, let's keep working on the stuff we liked before. Welfare and economy. There's the Zeoscience Institute. It's all rough. You guys don't really have much chance. None of this shit matters. Oh, opinion doesn't matter. Oh, let's get the platform course. Well, don't use mag weapons. Bonus to cover coming ECM sounds good. They're at war with everybody they border, including India. Are you getting naval bombarded? Oh, you're repairing. This is in interesting here. So when does Grissom base get its defenses up? 25th of June of next year? Yeah, June and July of next year. We still have some defenses, which is why I'm fine leaving you as is. What happened to that Victor fleet that was in orbit here? Oh, you fucked off. You destroyed... Everything except Tiangong and then fucked off. Okay. All right by me. Our army investments kind of suffer a little bit because that was like we had a good boost going to our army. Uh, I do need to pull off the counselor. And we're going to go ahead and declare war on the alien administration. We're going to nuke them a little bit. Let's take uh, Zyda Standing here. Standing by. Uh, set national policy. European Union. Time to make our Gun move. Firm. Love for them to just group up with their armies. Um, have the debris. Yeah, sure. Lending my expertise. Lending my expertise. Need more metals I will help anyway. Them. Antimatter beam reactor, plasma core reactor. Set that as favorite. So make sure I'm not. Let's go back through my um, obsolete text. Just make sure that we're not missing anything that I desperately want. So let's see here. Partial rocket sucks. The bridges also suck. Don't care about the bearing gap. Don't care about the bearing straight. These are all defense leagues. The intermarium. Okay, Poland. Okay. Let's get commercial mining companies. We can research that again. It's not actually terrible now that we're we're in a spot where we could do more. All right, everything else looks like it was there for a reason. Let's get this back now. Doesn't matter because we're already at full war, but might as well have it available. We're winning their hearts and minds. Right, here comes the war with we these guys. The Spinal neutron lance. Uh, show obsolete here. This is the middle one. Let's go ahead and work on these fusion piles. Clean, safe power to our have. Fusion reactor array. I know we have fission piles. I think fusion piles might just be better once we get it. Mission complete. How you can federate with South American Union. Uh, let's go ahead and declare war on the Cantu the Alien Administration. Uh, force must have direct access by adjacency or navies. Well, fuck it. Let's federate then. Can't do anything with this. I don't. I can't nuke them. Guatemala's gone. They're just gonna absolutely ruin this place. We have a new navy. They're at 78 strength. We're at 75. We almost have them outmatched in naval capacity. Come on now. Come on now. We can just naval bombard them to death. What are their priorities? They're working on space defenses. That's actually a fair investment for them, considering I will nuke them if given the chance. Let's just keep increasing unrest in their nation. We will bring it down. That's the best way to deal with those guys. Fusion pile is done. Confinement fusion reactor. Crater in Hualme. Are we finally transporting? Calus Pirates are going to do their Offering thing. Council. That's good. Securing our control. 
Securing our interests. Getting Grissom Offering base assistance. up to speed here. Offering support. Fun subsidies. Our environments are falling apart. I need to do something to fix global warming and all that jazz. The people will be free. Just stay there permanently, please. Grissom base. Antimatter farm, manufacturing battle stations. So far, we could start keep. We could keep just building this out with the super colliders. Sixty-three of this to build this in space. There's the fusion reactor array. Favorite that, please. I think it's worth it to build the super colliders. But you do need eighty to get it. Let's slot one in. As many of these as we can dock out will be really nice to have because it will just boost our antimatter production. And until we get established around Jupiter and the other big planets, it's not really easy to get antimatter. We also haven't gotten a single fucking fleet got yet. Let's resupply you. Yeah. Lock them in. Now I've got this concern with these guys on Earth. Here's the question, though, right? Like, I know they're taking control of Earth, but do we even... Well, we do still need Earth, but we're getting close to the point of just pure independence via space. Who is this? This is the Evangelist. Let's go ahead and keep bumping up his uh, science. Because he's doing a lot of advice stuff. Same for you. Get your security instead. Fix her, bump up her security. Operative, bump up his science. Okay. I'd love to just nuke this stuff. We need one more fleet in order to get be able to attack Offering them. Support. Offering counsel. Turning computer two is what we have. Overcomes ECMs, okay. Let's get that fission thing that we saw. Oh, these are the lanterns. Yeah, let's get the drives. We need better drives anyway. They can use water instead of fissiles. We're actually going to be super happy. Our goal is to use water for our, our power. Are stabilizing. And then we can Orders use return. antimatter for weapons. Violence is abating. And not have exotics. Long live the revolution. Fusion outpost kit. Automated supply depot. Not terrible. When is Ganymede done? And Fleet Victor will take me there. 2K on Earth surveillance with 372 fucking Delta V. Yikes. Can we even res It takes like a hundred propellant to resupply this damn ship that we have. Even more than that. We equalize Delta V. And share. Okay, new battle stations for the antimatter farm. Cool. Resupply them is going to take everything. Low orbit cleanup. Let's take it all down. Look at the antimatter farm. I like how they can just ignore the defensive platforms. I, these are useless for me. I should not have built those. I'll probably change them out to something different. Uh, super Collider in space? Yes. There's another one. Just need more stuff. 20 science. And that's going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going to be 0. 0.8 antimatter. Which is quite nice, actually. I wondering if you wanted to sell antimatter, it's 75,000 per unit. Now, exotics are now 2,000. Wish I could buy them, though. All right, confirm. I'm just looking, we're just knocking out research here. Don't know what we're waiting for, honestly. I guess we're waiting for the outpost raiders to get set up over um, I will help them. in 2045. Because that's what we really need to get our fissiles up. Offering support. We're at the antimatter. Offering assistance. 
All right, there's Grissom Base and Ganymede. He now has one of these set up. So I think with that, we can officially go ahead and put a battle station over here. Actually, you can't power it yet. When's our first reactor up? 14th of January. 28th of December. Yeah, that's dangerous. Death to tyrants. We'll keep it as is. Gotta be careful about those hot swaps now that we've lost a couple things. Hyper confinement fusion reactor is done. Mirror shell fusion reactor. Sure. Who are you at war with? Are you at war with anybody? Hmm. Fusion platform kit. Not terrible. If I were to. Direct investment. Right into the Navy. And just throw all my money in there. Right now you're at 9. Now you're at 25. We're going to fund their next Navy. We have the money. So let's see. Militarily, we're still in the Miltech Invasion Age at 6.3. These armies are repping 8.7. You're only in the Atomic Age, but your armies you have are higher. Go and confirm. Lock us in. Mirror Cell Fusion Reactor. Done. Get the Fusion Reactor here. All right, I think we're just stuck in a loop right now. I need to find a way to get exotics. Offer I need to support. have. I believe we I are believe still constructing ships, right? Cost. So we're still we're still getting our, our our space docks all up Offering to speed counsel. with the Titans. We had to ship some of the stuff there, but those Titans, right? That's going to be eight ships, five hundred strength. That's four K strength just in those those spots. And with the those. Is underway. With those, we have the capability to go and try to get something out in the outer reach of the solar system. If we can do that, we can use those guys also have scoops on them. So if we get them to um, the right plant, maybe we need to do an in situ resource utilization on all of our ships. Because propellant is a really big cost for us. I don't know how to get that better. Bonus thrust of fusion drives. Lots of all these fucking particle cannons we could build and things. Now that we're actually investing in antimatter, I think it's worth it. Especially with this antimatter station. It's only costing us money. And I have a surplus of money, anyway. Uh, you call any? Okay. So Grissom Base is now up and running. They don't have, to, don't have the stuff to power this, though, as much as I would love to. Another super collider up and running. Let's go ahead and throw that out. We can probably power all of them. Wonder if this is gonna be close here. Keep it running. Confirm lock in. What to do, what to do, what to do. Offering assistance. I think we had a breakthrough. I will help them. Our guys are already all Landing pretty much expertise. kitted out here. Violence is abating. We're boosting our boost the income. Will be free. Up to 67 boost. Big money, big prizes. Leak seems to be radiated, okay? Navy's getting built. We were good with anything but them launching three of these fucking fleets at the same time. Fusion reactor array. What does that give us? That, this gives you... Gives 85 power and it only costs 0. 0.05. Interesting. So compare that. So 0. 0.05 compared to the costs of, say, what we have on Tiangong, right? So in Tiangong... We don't use the damn things anyway, but uh, let's say we did. So fission reactor array. 
They use 0.5. So these are way more efficient, these fusion uh, or fission re or fusion reactors, as you would expect. So we'll have to do upgrades to those too. Hmm. Keep confirming, keep launching in here. Once we get one fleet out, I'm okay with doing anything. Play another team. Lending my expertise. Need one more I navy and I can declare that damn the war. Cause. Offering support. Can I, I declare the alien? So they have 75.6. I will help them. I'm gonna choose to believe this works. Death to tyrants! Automated mining complex, yes. So I just want to keep doing the build navy here. Wait a minute. And the control of the servants have declared war upon the European Union with the African Union and the Central Asian Union? I'm being attacked. Okay. First, let's invest all this money back into getting our navy up. So I'm at war with just India. Ten nukes. They can't attack me. Oh, that reminds me. I need to make you ally with everybody. Yeah, you are. South American Union. Why did South American Union not get called in here? And Fleet Victor 431 is launch trajectory targeting outpost raiders. Victor 431. Two K strength against my outpost raiders. We have only nine K. Well, they're dead. That's tragic. <laughs> That's hate to see that happen. Um, yeah, I guess those guys aren't really meant to get out into the solar system, right? Too far. There's new data factoring at Ochoa launch pad. It's a huge expense for us as far as uh, this stuff. Fusion reactor array. Makes us some money. Let's go antimatter farm. Hmm. I think it's getting close to the time when I need to upgrade everything. Gotta go definitely tier three on these. I like the setup I'm setting up over here. Once we can actually power this, we'll have great incomes in all of our stuff. We should be going about neutral once everything's out of here. Just wonder if the nano factoring was a little bit too much here. We'll see, because I come, might start having a negative deficit with our uh, base metals, which is not fun. Hmm. A lot of questions are being posed in this episode that I don't have good answers to. resupply these guys. Confirm. God, that's still not enough. Only a third of your fucking tanks are filled. So I can just, can I just orbital barrage these guys in India? Like, why do I care about their armies and stuff? I know you, oh, this is part of the Alien Federation. Who the hell else is in this? Thailand, Bangladesh, and Oman. Fucking hell, I gotta take them, them out? Okay. Am I, am I only at war with India? You want know transfer into low Earth orbit? Save Delta V. 1.2 hours. I want to orbital barrage these guys. Offering counsel. Can you not orbital barrage? No, oh, fuck it. Where is the. Where are your stations?
I'm tired of you. Let's go deal with you. Lending my expertise. Protecting our interests. Offering. There's the antimatter farm. I think we had a breakthrough. What do we want to build next? Let's get neural engineering. Uh, engage. Auto resolve here. Should take any strength. Sure. Let's um. Cover salvage. Okay, next station. Tana Station, you gotta go. Gonna knock all of these fucking things out. Long live the revolution! Destroy Tana Station. Transfer. Darius Station. Taking everything out. No, no more things in Earth orbit. We won't have it. Won't stand for it. Won't live with it. Iraq has joined the Indo against. The okay. There we go. There's the alien administrations. This is Iraq. We now actually bordered the enemies. And what I want to do real quick is just make sure you can't get shit attacking me. Now let's just double check that you are not blockading me. How does that count as blockading when I've just absolutely nuked so much of your stuff? Bucharest and Diabakur. I mean, let's fucking go. Okay, bring it on. It's still weird to be that you have freedom of the seas. With that update... Iraqi army moving to Diabkur. Bucharest and Diabkur, okay? Oh, they're here. Hello. Well. Nice to see you. Be prepared for this. This, this micro is going to be fucking great. Will they still have freedom of the seas even if I kill all their troops? That is my question. I guess we will find the answer. Because they've just <laughs> triggered a massive war that they will not come out on top of. Alright, we've used our nukes. Mobilize our 18 armies. Can they nuke my lands? And he does have nukes. Let's start investing into space defenses again. And drop our boost funding back down. Up military. Drop knowledge, get military all the way to level 3 here. And who's not involved in this? Everyone's moving. Look at how we are blockaded. 75.7 to their 60.1. And yet they can still move and attack. Your freedom of the seas is 25. I guess it maybe it's all combined? Well, let's see. Let's just nuke the last army they have here. The 2.3 plus the Iraqi has none. India has 25. So if we start taking out their armies, we should see a change. 
Armies are arriving. Moving towards Kiev. Indian armies in Kiev. Do you have a Kerr? Bucharest, Bucharest. We are going to win our defenses here. There's no way they take anything. There's some freelies arriving everywhere. We're now over an hour. I would love to do some kind of orbital bombardment. Oh, we are busy doing other stuff. Let's make an orbital bombardment ship. It doesn't need anything fancy. This is literally just going to sit here, and this is going to be our bombard class. Auto design this, change the armor. Do not be exotic. Adamantine armor. And for weapons, I want to use magnetic weapons. Kin Bombard, yes. Oh, we don't even have the big ones yet. Oh. Kin Bombard, do any of these be able to bombard? Do we need guns? No, it's got to be the magnetic weapons. There we go. Spinal Seeds Coiler Mark 1. Uses four hard points, uses three hard points. What's the difference? Can I compare? So this one uses... I check... Oh, don't mark that as obsolete. Charging range 900 kilometers. Can bombard, reload cost is... Oh, that's pretty expensive in reload cost. Shot <laughs> These shots, I'm just literally throwing money at it is what I am. Lasers, what do they cost? Use battery consumption. Now right, here's our coil gun. Let's do our whole weapons. We want to look at our magnetic weapons. Heavy coil gun. We want to do... These are our point defense. We'll leave the point defense. Mobile space science lab. No, you're not a explorer. Um, I'll have to design the rest of this. UCM, targeting computer, repair bay, makes sense. Look at our utility modules. Armor struts. Repair bay. Don't care about the lasers. Let's do this. There's the NC2. We'll do double uh, of these. Don't need the science. Don't care about your propellant. Let's look at your drive. We need, you can do a better drive here. For your drive, we want something that's cheap. Because you're not leaving Earth orbit. Don't even want anything. Get the Lodestar Fission. Yeah, that's actually good enough for me, honestly. You don't need more KPS. You are a Bombard class. Defender. I don't know what's costing us unique or uh, exotics. I bet you it's this thing right here, the Atlanta Weave battery. Whatever. UCM, targeting computer, repair bay. The scoop doesn't really matter. The lanterns kind of suck, not going to lie. We just want the refuels to not cost. Yeah, do an antimatter microfusion. There. This is the bombard class. Does it really need to be a titan? Does it really need to be a titan? 
Drop all the armor. And lose the propellants by a ton. Just get us to 60. There. Now we're going to go and queue up a couple of these. Do it on the space dock. I want the bombard. One, two, three, four. This is my don't fuck with me in on Earth fleet. We should be fine with what we have. They don't have any armies back here to defend the alien administration. They are attacking us. They're working on their military and space defenses. They won't get time to finish that. We're now defending against Bucharest. The enemy army will stay there. It's not any of our lands. Is it like the sum total? I bet you it's the sum total there their stuff. Let's put a let's put a little well no, leave leave the this area alone. We don't want to go too hard on our uh African Union folks. They have it hard enough as it is. Yeah, their armies are too negative to really be helpful. Will destroying these give us any exotics? Do we know? Deploy a team. They're actually pulling their armies back. I need to um do one more nuke here, I think. And they're now blockaded. So their armies are trapped, theoretically. Problem is, if I move too much in, I'm not certain India's not going to just nuke me. <laughs> This will take out all of their army. So it is it is the sum total of your navies, right? Like it's it's your alliance's strength. Let's fucking take out Iraq in this war. So the servant fleet is against our fleet. Uh, attack them. Auto resolve this. Uh just damage, nothing destroyed. Cool. Like I was telling you who gets promoted and whatnot. Does that actually matter? Darius Station. Well, let's go and destroy Darius Station. Let's go and take them back to, to um, our space dock, Swigert space dock. Insufficient Delta V. Share propellant, please. Continue. Swigert. Transfer, please. Tiangong? I cannot get to a uh, 8.2 KPS. What is our... We have half a KPS. <sighs> okay. Well. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take my uh, Titan-class ships that I'm building and send them over there, I guess. Doesn't feel good to do that. Yeah, take these Titans that are going to get built in 10 days. We'll unify them up, and we're just going to use them to refuel our Scavenger-class Titans. We'll share it out and get them back. Okay, how's the, how's the war going? Let's just lock in our assignments here. Alien Federation. Grand Dependent, seek peace. China and Pakistan. How are they still able to pull back their armies if they have... I guess they pulled back some, but not all. Definitely don't want to give them a chance to do anything against us. I will help them. I think we had a breakthrough. There goes the Indian armies. Offering council. Now this is the, uh, the resistance armies that are actually in here doing all this damage. We make allies with the resistance. I would love to. Yeah, let's do that. Make alliances with all the resistance nations. Now let's let's mend mend our uh, our bridges and things. We all stand together here. Everyone except for the fucking protectorate. Oh, man, men with the academy too. No longer hate Pakistan. Sometimes we've got to just 
Do what's good for everybody. Even Chile. We're going to have all the alliance chains. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we're, we're at war. Um, it's not a war we need to be concerned about. They, they don't have the ability to contest us. Once we get these new um, ships I'm building into orbit, hope they'll be able to just deal with everybody without having to worry. I just made too many alliances here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we now have an alien administration. We Hopefully we can wipe them out. We've used a lot of our nukes on them. I'm actually, I want to put a little bit more into nuclear weapons. Drop the funding down. Don't think we need funding. Our commie's kind of high enough as is. Honestly, drop the boost again. Our boost is fine. Don't need to do anything about our boost income. Mission control, that's a good investment. Let's see. How is Grissom? Does this ever get finished? I know I'm, I'm rambling on here. We have more stuff to, that we should get done. Uh, we're just waiting for things to finish. Okay, that should be fine. We've now supplied this, so I can replace uh, the tier three things that I need to replace. So give this a battle station, and we'll do a heavy fission reactor right here. Unless we don't actually need a heavy fission reactor. Battle station, let's do another battle station. Ooh, no, we actually do need that. Um, Heavy fission, heavy fission. Manufacturing, battle station, battle station, manufacturing. We'll do another fission reactor. Probably can do a lighter one, but we'll do this for now. Okay. That's all figured out for now. That should be good. And this should be... I'll tweak this a little bit once it's all built. I'll have to come and see. And then we're going to set this as kind of our standard for how we want to do our... Our, uh, our mining outposts. Get them as new close to neutral as possible while still being heavily defended. So this should all be good for us. Uh, we have to send some of our new ship con constructions over to get this damn ship out of uh, where it currently is stuck in orbit. We'll use our, our, our dreadnoughts to do that. But uh, things are looking good for us. So for now, I'm going to call some I've been Sean's Blue Screeners, and as always, I'll catch you next one. Later!